All right, welcome back to the Be A Pro series. We're here close to the end of our first year. This is just going to be um, the end of the season in this video. And man, the team has played amazingly this year. We're on the quest for the President's Trophy. And yeah, we're pounding the ends here in this one. Back door. Oh, that's broken up though by Brandstrom. Miller to Raquel, Raquel to me, and that's going to be a goal for us right there. Our 58th goal of the season. I believe we're leading the league in goals. We're on pace to win the Rocket Richard, and that's just another one added to the collection. <laughs> okay, so my goal here for the rest of um, NHL 22 is to finish the playoffs in this one. I'll, I might do one playoff round per video or I might do a couple games. I'm not sure exactly what I'll do yet, but I want to finish the playoffs of this season before NHL 23 comes out. And that way we can start fresh in NHL 23 with a new be a pro. Maybe we'll do a different build. Uh, maybe we'll do a goalie, who knows? Um, but yeah, let, let me know your, your thoughts on that. What type of player you'd like to see me do. And we'll get that started for you guys in NHL 23. Raquel sends it over to me. Just shoot it low. Oh, never mind. We lose it. That's okay. Gretzky's office. Gretzky's office. Back door. Oh, just shoot the puck. Ah. Raquel. Raquel coming out. Oh, that gets blocked though. Let's wrap this. Let's wrap this. Oh, off the post. Brady with it. Brady to the center. Oof. Save Rask. When he plays it. Let's go, Raquel. Good steal to Eichel. Eichel with a good shot, but a better save. And Raquel gets it out from the slot to Eichel. Eichel tries to find me, but Chris Tierney is going to make a good defensive play. Raquel and I, 2-1-2. Two two. Passing it over, shot. That's saved, though. Now Eichel picks it up and comes out to the slot, and he's going to score off the rebound for his second of the game. Let's go. This is 6 to nothing. This game is absolutely over. Dadden off to Kachuk. Kachuk with a good save there by Rask. And with time winding down, the Buffalo Sabres are going to win this game. Six to nothing in Buffalo in the final episode of the series. We've got a few more games to go here. Let's go here, boys. In the Boston Garden. And Buffalo is the third best team in the NHL. We're three points behind Vegas and we're two points behind Dallas. But each of them only have one game left in the season. We have two games left in the season. So an interesting race for the President's Trophy. Oof. If we can win both games and they both lose, I think we have a, a chance to win it. But we're going to see if we can actually do that in this game. We're up by th one, so we got to hold on to the lead as best we can. Duke Rask playing his old team yet again. Pastor not coming into the zone uncontested. Pasta again, but Rask Makes another good save, not Mrazic, who I almost called him. Come on here, boys. Let's play in the offensive zone. Best way to hold on to the lead. McAvoy! We're going to poke that away, and now we could be away, but... Pasta gets that puck. Come on! Let's fight for this! There we go. Stick lift, and we get the puck. We curl out. Shoot a blocker! Oh, good save, though. Eichel now. Back to the defense. Raquel to Eichel to me! What a good save there. Ten minutes left. And Buffalo is up by one we're four on four for one second we're now on the power play that's great Oof, almost a pass into the slot right there let's go Eichel three on two. Oh, i'm splitting the d splitting the d sending it over to Raquel. oh but a great back check by charlie mcavoy there breaks that puck up good four check and we come out and we shoot oh, but Marazic, what the hell the dunk doesn't work down to the eichel to Olafson, Olafson, we're just gonna shoot that on net. Oh, that's blocked though. I wanted to go off for a change, but now we're not gonna be able to. And Boston comes the other way. A minute and 50 seconds. Buffalo still holding on to the lead, but this is a massive face off here, and we win it. That's perfect. Let's hold on to the puck. What? That was a, such a suicide pass right there. He gave it to me in a telephone booth. Here we go. Two and one, two and one. Back door, and that's going to be a goal, and that's going to solidify this game. 5-3, we're up. One minute left in the game. That's a big one. We had to win it if we want the President's Trophy, and Buffalo is rolling. Boston has the empty net, and Jack Eichel is going to put that puck into it to give us a 6-3 lead with 50 seconds. And with time winding down in the offensive zone... 
Ugh, this game is going to... Never mind, it's not going to finish because Mrazek feels like he has to cover the puck with 0.3 seconds left. <laughs> okay, but here we are, 0.3 seconds left, and Buffalo is going to win their second last game of the season. I'll see you in the final one. Okay, so here we are in the calendar. If you draw your attention to the bottom right of the screen, you'll see we have clinched the division with 107 points. But over in the West, the Stars also have 107 points. They, we have the same amount of games played so and the exact same record. So we have to beat, we have to win against Chicago and hope the Stars lose. And then we even have to hope that the Golden Knights lose, who have 108 points, even though they have two less wins than both of us. Uh, so if the Golden Knights lose and we win and the Stars lose, we have a chance to win the President's Trophy. But let's jump into this game. Okay, so here we are, the final game of the season. Key Bank Center is rocking, but we're down by two. And, oh, we almost had a chance there. We're down by two. And if we want a chance to win the presidents, which I'm not super worried about it. You know, it doesn't matter where you are when you're in the playoffs. It just matters what you do when you're there. I'm not too worried about the president's trophy, but it would be nice to win it in our first year. Hurdle now with a shot, but Pekka Rene there makes a good save. Oh, no, I simmed and they covered the puck. Are we going to be down to no time? No, we're not, but we did score. 11.47. We're only down by one now, boys. Let's go here. Yuki Haru to Eichel with a good shot, but a better save by Philip Grubauer. Eichel to Raquel. Raquel, up to us. We're going to get a shot off. Oh, and that trickles, almost trickles in. The Grubauer is going to hold on to it after a massive scare. There's only 9.50 left. Okay. Seth Jones has nothing on us. Back to the defense. Miller, Miller, back to me, to Raquel, Raquel to me, oh, here we go, but we get blocked as everybody collapses into the slot, fair enough. Let's go, Eichel, three on two, <gasps> back door, no, but we missed the pass, and Dylan Cousins can't get his stick on it, 4-11, and they don't put us back out there, so Buffalo, we don't win the President's Trophy, and we don't win our final game of the season. I don't want to go into the playoffs like that. Let's jump to the locker room where we can look at the uh, season stats, uh, the team stats, and look around the league and see who won what awards. Okay, here we are. We're at the main menu now. Um, it turns out Vegas won their game, so even if we had beaten Chicago, we would not have won the President's Trophy. That's okay with me. Uh, Vegas wins it with 50 wins, 22 points, and 10 overtime losses for 110 points in the season. Looking at the individual stats here, Jack Eichel, our line mate, our centerman, wins the Hart Memorial, maybe? Or the most points. He has the most points in the league. He's a plus 44 with 44 goals and 65 assists. Looking at rookie skaters, we lead them with 96 points in our rookie year. Not too shabby, if I may say so myself. Trevor Zegris is down here with 49. Miko Rantanen, the Detroit prospect, is here with 32. Quinton Byfield with 26, and so on. Looking at the Rocket Richard here, we're going to win that with 61 goals, dethroning Alex Ovechkin, who had 47 and wasn't in Washington. So that's great to see from us. The Norris looks like it might be reclaimed by Drew Doughty here. He scored 11 goals, 56 assists for 67 points, and was a plus 16. Although you could make the argument for either Victor Hedman or Petrangelo, who had better plus minuses than him and less penalty minutes. Between the pipes now, this is an interesting one because Ben Bishop had five more games played than Tuca and Vass and only had one and three more wins respectively. So... Interesting to know, but Ben Bishop here, the most wins in the league, 43 wins, 20 losses, and 5 assists with 1 shutout. Tuca has a shot at winning it, in my opinion. I think he should. He has 42 wins, so 1 less than Ben Bishop, but in 5 less games played. He has 19 losses to Ben Bishop's 20, and 4 overtime losses to Ben Bishop's uh, 5. But he also has 2 more shutouts than him, and a better save percentage, and goals against average. So... I think the argument's there for Tuca, I think it's there for Ben Bishop, and you can even throw Vasilevsky in there if you want to, though his numbers are 
technically worse than Rask's in the same games played. So I'd say between Ben Bishop and Tuka Rask there, we'll see at the end of the season or at the end of the playoffs. But hey, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Actually, no, let's, let's find out who we're playing in the next episode in the playoffs. It's going to be... Okay, and in the 2022 playoffs, the third place Buffalo Sabres... Yes, the third, or the first in the division, but the third place Buffalo Sabres are taking on the wild card Ottawa Senators, who went 42, 33, and 7. We'll take a look more in depth at them in the next episode. But if you like this video, please feel free to give it a like. It always helps out the channel. Comment anything you want to see, how you want me to do the playoffs, whether you want me to do the whole round in one video or multiple games. Uh, it always helps out the channel. Um, subscribe if you're new and. I'll see you guys in the playoffs.